To access the control panel, uh, click Start, Setup, Control Panel. And this opens up uh, all of your settings for SI 2015. Here you can set your tax settings. Double click that. Um, you have two options here. Well, the first one being taxes are the same for all taxable products and labor. Uh, that's the most common uh, configuration um, where you're just going to set a tax rate uh, of whatever percentage uh, for products and then a percentage for labor, assuming you charge labor sales tax. And then um, on each item or in the database or in your catalog, there's a taxable checkbox. This option, taxes are set on each product and labor, is a little less common, uh, but some users need this uh, because they have different tax laws where uh, some products might be taxed at uh, a certain percentage, say 5%, other products are taxed at 8%. So they have to set them individually. So in this case, there's not just a, a simple little checkbox of whether it's taxable or not on a product. Uh, in the catalog, your, your items are going to have two drop downs. Uh, a like a sales tax for the product itself and a labor sales tax that you're going to be able to pick and choose and set the rates individually. So to uh, manage taxes, click the link here and uh, there's the two defaults, labor tax and tax, which will apply to products and these, this of course will apply to labor. So um, you can click the edit button or just double click and you can, uh, if you want to rename it, you certainly can uh, or you can just set your you know, tax rate in here. I'll go ahead and put you know seven on labor, seven on sales. Now um, you can add as many more of these as you want. Uh, from the new drop down, you can add a new tax, or you can add a new uh, tax group. Uh, so, for instance, maybe I'm going to put um, a new tax called PST at seven percent, and a new tax uh, GST at say eight percent. And then I can combine them if I'd like into say uh, a tax group where I will just call this, you know, Atlantis and I'm going to add taxes to this and I'll put the GST and the PST and that creates a tax group for a total value of 15%. Um, so the only reason you might want to create groups is if it matches your accounting system. It's how you'd like to report possibly out of, um, SI 2015 to split these out rather than just showing a tax uh, value called Atlantis at 15%. Maybe you want to break out the GST and PST together. Um, you have those options when you're running proposal reports. When you're done, just hit save. Uh, close this form here. And uh, then here you can choose whichever you want to be your defaults um, in the software. And the defaults being when you create a new project, um, these will be the default. Uh, taxes, you of course can use the drop down to change them at any time. Uh, when you're done, click save.